really gorgeous. Big, full screen previews of all the apps. Just move right into Safari like this. But of course, often when I'm in an app like Safari, I then I just wanna quickly check my messages. So now, with just a single finger swipe from the side, I can slide it right in with what we call slide over. And of course, it's fully interactive right here. I can take a look, maybe type a response, put it right back, I'm back in Safari. You can do that again. Now from the top, I can pull down and bring in other applications. So let's bring in Calendar. Of course, fully interactive, so I can tap into another day. Let's bring in another app. I'm gonna bring in the new Notes app, just like that. Now sometimes, of course, I wanna stay working in Notes and Safari, both at the same time. So I can just tap here on the divider, and now I'm in split view. They're both completely active. In fact, for the first time ever, multi-app, multi-touch. I can move them both at the same time. Now, Notes is actually pinned to the side now, so I'm gonna show you what happens when I switch apps. I'm just gonna move over here to Photos, and you notice now I have Photos with Notes on the side. This is really great if I'm taking notes while working across a bunch of different experiences. And of course, those four finger gestures continue to work great, so I can just swipe my way right back into Safari like that. I can follow links, of course, for my notes, so let me just tap on this link, and you see Safari loads it right here on the side. Now I can adjust this split, so let me just move that over to a nice 50-50 view with notes and Safari. And I can tap on links to other apps, so let's uh, follow a link into Maps. See, Maps just, oh, I really want location accuracy. Thank you, very helpful. So, slides right in and shows me the location. I can follow another link and you see Maps adjusts. I'm able to just stay focused right here in these two apps side by side. And let's say I want to now work on note, or Notes full screen. I can just pull right across like that and I'm in full screen Notes. Now, this gives me a great opportunity to show you what's new with the QuickType keyboard. So I have a to-do list I'm building here. And I'm just gonna buy, add an item here to buy a new uh, ice chest. There we go. But you know, on second thought, I think I, wanna, I should probably borrow one. So I'm just gonna take two fingers down on the keyboard and just swipe over here. I can reposition the cursor like that, tap and make a selection, extend the selection, and type borrow. It's really easy. I can make bigger moves too. I go to the top here, maybe select the whole sentence, drag down, maybe do a checklist like this, and check them off, just like that. Super cool.